I use my rectangle command to create rectangular objects that are made up of one continuous polyline. To activate the rectangle command, I can click on the tool in the tool panel, or I can enter from the keyboard rectang or its keyboard alias, REC, and enter. And by default, it asks me for the first corner of my rectangular object. I'm going to click here on the screen to pick that first corner, and now it prompts me for the second corner or the opposite corner of my rectangle. If I enter a distance at this point, let's say 10 for example, and I hit enter, that constructs that rectangle and the distance of 10 represents the distance from my starting corner to its opposite corner on a diag diagonal line. Besides picking two points, I have some other options for creating rectangles. I'm going to activate my rectangle command and pick the first point. Now I'm going to right click the mouse and look at uh, my options that I have on my pop-up menu. I can designate the size of this rectangle by its area, by its dimensions, and I can also rotate it. I'm going to choose dimensions and now you see that it, it prompts me for the length of the rectangle. The length of the rectangle is going to be its distance along the x-axis. So I'm going to put in 10 for its length and then it wants its width. Its width would be its distance along the y-axis. In this case I'm going to enter 5. And after entering this information I'm not done. Notice that if I move the cursor around my rectangle can be drawn in any one of four quadrants adjacent to my starting point. I need to pull the rectangle into the quadrant where I want it to be placed and click the mouse once to end the command. Another option that I have with my rectangle, I'm going to activate that rectangle command and pick a first point. And then when I right click, this time I'm going to choose rotation. And now I can specify a rotation angle uh, using my standard polar uh, angle inputs. I'm going to uh, construct a 4 inch square diamond so this would be rotated at, at a positive 45 degrees. When I hit enter you notice that that first line is now rotated and I can specify the other corner. I can still use my other options for example dimensions because I wanted this to be 4 inches on each side so the width or the length would be 4 and the width would be 4 and then I choose the quadrant for that to be created by clicking the mouse once and now I have created a rotated uh, rectangle that makes up my diamond. I have some other options that I can add to my rectangle and to view those options after I've started the rectangle command but before I've designated or clicked on the first point I'm going to right click and look at my options menu. You can see that I have other options such as chamfer or fillet or creating a rectangle that has an, an elevation dimension. Let's look at fillet for a moment. I'm going to click on that and before I start drawing my rectangle it's prompting me to enter the radius for the fillet. I'm going to put in 0.5 and now when I draw my rectangle by designating two points you'll see that the rectangle created has a rounded corners at a 0.5 radius. You can explore the other options. One thing to keep in mind is once that I've changed um, the characteristics of my rectangle that those particular characteristics or options stay until I change them back. So now I'm going to continue to draw rectangles that have uh, half inch filleted corners. When you create rectangles you'll notice that they're created as polygon objects. So when I click on my rectangle, it shows up as one continuous object rather than a series of line segments. If I need to break my rectangle down into individual line segments for editing, I need to use an explode command. I can choose explode off the modify menu, click on the polygon object, and hit enter. Now when I click on each of these lines you can see that they each show up as an individual line segment.